Hello men, we're back here. Uh, we're gonna be cooking on the Brinkman again. It's been uh, quite a long time, I know, since I've done a Brinkman video, but um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be cooking a nice uh, sirloin steak here. Real beauty on the Brinkman. And I've got my, uh, my Disney cup filled with some vino. You know that real men drink from Disney cups. So um, if you want to follow me out there, we're going to get the grill the Brinkman started. Of course, you got to walk. You got to walk like John Wayne when you go to the Brinkman. Here we go. It looks like it's winter time now, boys, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to be cooking out here on the Brinkman. Of course, it's going to be very hard to burn myself on the Brinkman because it's freezing cold out here, but maybe I should be doing a few push-ups <clears throat> just to get warmed up. <clears throat> maybe a couple push-ups in the snow just to get me ready. Oh, my God. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. Uh, a couple push-ups. Oh, I got a push-up here. I got a push-up here. Oh, I sound like Elmer Fudd. Oh, it's cold. Oh. Little uh, Brinkman push up there. <clears throat> Here we are. Where's the Brinkman? There's the Brinkman. All right. Men, <clears throat> men cook on the Brinkman all seasons. And they bring out their Disney cups with vino. And uh, we got to start this baby up here somehow. Let's see. It's going to be kind of tough cooking a steak up here in the winter, but let's see how this turns on. Got my cold out here. It's not working. Let's try this baby here. All right, be a man, be a man. Tough it out, tough it out. You can do it. You're right in front of the Brinkman. You know, it makes you feel like a man when you're in front of the Brinkman <clears throat> drinking from your Disney cup. Okay, you're a man. Don't forget, you're a man. And you're cooking on the brink man. Brink man, man, you know, they go together. So, uh, I think it's kind of cold to be cooking on the Brinkman out in the winter. So, uh, I think we're going to go inside and cook that steak inside. Those push-ups didn't really help. Of course, it's nice and warm and toasty in here. And I got my my bell drink here with the vino, keeping me warm and toasty. Ah, this is much better. Then we're gonna cook on the indoor Brinkman, which is a lot a lot smarter. It's nice and warm and toasty in here. <clears throat> so we're gonna kind of fire up this Brinkman, the indoor Brinkman, I call it. There we go, get those flames going. And we're gonna throw in that steak. We're gonna cook this baby. Yeah, real men eat sirloin steaks. That's right, baby. Don't need to do any push-ups inside here because I'm nice and warm and toasty. All right, well, I hope that you're enjoying the Brinkman show here. <clears throat> it's the best product ever out there. And, uh, and pretty much only real men cook on Brinkman's, all right? Do you remember the nuclear codes, the Brinkman ship, and the, you know, all that stuff? Okay, men. Men and women. Let's, let's try to include everybody here in this Brinkman experiment, all right? Because uh, I know some women they are just as tough as some men. All right, so uh, let's not exclude the women because there is a man in a wool man, right, get it? All right, so here we are at the Brink Man. And we're just gonna kind of turn that up there, see? It shows a lot of strength and gusto here to heat up the Brinkman. And look at that piece of meat. Some cow gave, it, gave his life up for me to eat this steak. Of course, I'll share it with my family if, they, if they're good. And they better be good. You know, 
them because uh, the general, the general's watching them, just like Santa. The general's watching everything that they do very carefully because he is the judge, the jury, and the general, I like to say. But uh, yeah, pretty much it's a man's world. It's a man's world, you know, uh, and strong people. And uh, the property owners, you know, those people that just own the, the property. But a man, what makes a man a man? That's what I like to, that's pretty much what we're doing here with the Brink Man, talking about what makes a man a man. And number one is the kind of stick that a man, kind of a stick that a man cooks. Does he cook like a real steak from a, from a cattle or, a, or does he cook a meat from a little turkey or a little tiny pheasant, all right? Man's, man's, a man's man cooks a steak from a cow. Cattle, you know, the cattle ranchers. That's what a real man does. And he pours a little bit of his wine on it just to kind of season it. That's what real men do. It looks like blood. Yeah, men love blood. <laughs> men love to create blood. Men love to see blood. Men like to be covered in blood. That's what real men like. And they like to blow it up. They don't like to build my but they like to blow it up. And then after they blow it up, they're like, oh, I didn't do it. He did it. <laughs> That's what a real man does. He blows it up and he denies it and blows it up. Yeah, that's the man, the kind of man that I hang out with. Man with guns and man that shoot and make a bleed and suffer and, and cry in pain. That's the kind of man I am. Let's throw a little more blood on there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should only have men on the planet. I think, I think so. And all the astronauts should be men. We don't want to be sending any women up to Mars. You never know what might happen. You know, they might be like having the men wear aprons up there on Mars. You have to talk to Jeff Bezos about that. Okay, now we're gonna like put on a little bit of garlic salt. Yeah, so getting back here to what makes a man a man and sheep scared. Well, first of all, well, second of all, a man, a man has to be fearful of God too in order to be a real man. He's got to be a real Old Testament man. That's what my daddy told me and my grandpa told me and his grandpa told his grandfather says, you got to be a God-fearing man. You got to be scared. You got to be scared of going to hell. All right? And uh, my, my, my daddy told me that. And he scared the hell out of me. He, he showed me the flames. The flames that, <clears throat> that the, the devil creates down there in hell. And the first couple days you're down there in hell from <clears throat> not believing in Jesus are the toughest. Those first few days in hell with the, the hell fires burning, my daddy scared the hell out of me. So, <clears throat> and I plan on marching in the streets. That's what I'm doing. Can we put that on? <clears throat> Sissy that loves to drink wine out of Cinderella cups. I, I like to love people. Love thy neighbor. That is what the Bible taught us and Jesus taught us. Not that Donald J. Trump, you know, Christian evangelical stuff. I mean, come on. What kind of, what kind of Christian is that? Okay, so what else defines a man? I think the way a man cooks. I think the way a man, you know, uses his creativity. You know, because men are not just animals although we are pretty much like beasts you know when we kill and we like blood but we have a creative intuitive feminine side too if you can believe it and the brinkman tends to not bring that out very often but today the brinkman's bringing out my intuitive creative feminine side and i'm going to show you 
what that looks like, all right? So I'm going to uh, do a little creative cooking here. We got some uh, sky vodka. I think that might uh, do really well on that steak, really. <laughs> Should I have a little hit of this first? You know, real men usually have a little hit of their vodka before they you know, season their... But no, it's kind of 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to get toasted by 10. So I'm just going to put a little bit of vodka on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's, that's quite good. That's really good. All right, man. Here we are back at the Brinkman, the indoor Brinkman, cooking a nice steak. Yeah, look at that, baby. I can just picture this this little steak as a... There's a cow romping around in the, in the pastures, but now it's going to be coming in my mouth pretty soon. That's what she said. All right, man, here we are back at the Brinkman, indoor Brinkman, and we're uh, cooking a nice Salisbury steak. Okay, and we're just going to be uh, really inventive, and we're going to try to put, like, different seasonings on that, like real men do. Okay, because real men can be creative, just like women. All right, so then we just kind of pour this on there. This is the uh, the Disney cup wine, of course. That's the basic. Ooh, yeah, it looks like purple blood. Yeah, look at that. Mm. That really gets real man excited seeing that blood-like liquid going on a steak. All right, what else do we like to do? We like to put on a little vodka. Sometimes I just take a little hit of vodka, you know, before I put this on a steak, but you know, it is early in the morning. And uh, I don't want to get too drunk by 10. So we just put a little bit of vodka on this. I know it's very, ooh, atypical, but I think we're going to like it, especially the alcoholics in the family. All right. And then, again, you can't have too many, uh, too much vino going on there, you know, from the bell cup. There we go. And just let it simmer in there. Let it simmer. And, you know, give it a little prayer. And then we're going to turn up the heat a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to put a little more garlic salt on this. It's going to really salt it up, you know, like a semen, salty, a salty semen. You know, man at sea, men love the sea. And that's why they put a little sea salt on there, just so they can really enjoy their steak. So we're coming to the end of the Brinkman cooking. Oh, and what is this? A little bit of lemon chilo. To add a little sweetness to it, huh? What do you think from Italy? Should we do it? Yeah? All right. We're gonna put a little lemon cello. Right on that, you know? I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we can try a little bit. Here we go, little lemon cello. Should we do it? Should we not do it? Should we? Oh, we did it! Just a little hint of lemon cello. <laughs> think the boys are gonna like it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh boy. And there we go. A little limoncello, a little vodka, a little wine, a little sea salt. Um, we'll throw a little pepper in there. All right, just, ooh, that's salt. I made a mistake, but that salt is good. It's gonna be salty, just like a semen, salty semen, you know, from the ocean. And, um, there we go. Ooh, little pepper, little pepper. Okay. Ooh, I'm a little sore from those push ups. Okay. This is it, the Feast de Resistance. Okay, and in a little bit we'll be eating that with our eggs and, um, and I hope you like uh, this uh, episode of The Brinkman. And uh, subscribe if you like this video, uh, give me a like, and if not, you're not a real man. I'm not Mark, but I've taken over. He, 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 he went somewhere, don't know where. We're back, cooking on the Brinkman, you know, Brinkman ship. We're gonna put a little bit of limoncello on, because Mark didn't put enough of the booze on. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that sound of sizzle. Now we're gonna, oh, you want the lemon chow on my fingers? Delicious. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce on here for an extra little Chinese flavor. You see, where does it say? Thai, uh, soy sauce, where is soy sauce from? Does it not say where soy sauce from? It says it's vegan. That's a surprise. It's reduced sodium, so it won't clog up my arteries as fast. So we just put a nice heaping helping of soy sauce. This doesn't come out enough. There we go. Nice little sizzle. And of course. I thought this was juice. Okay, so here we go. Cooking on the Brinkman. Lots of juices all up in there. Let's see, what else can we put in this? Make it even worse for me. Let's put a little bit of coffee mate in here. <laughs> We're doing experimental cooking. As you can see, let's just go a lot on the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, a little bit too much coffee mate. Now, uh, we've got to go in the back of the, uh, of, of the fridge if you come in here. Cameraman, are you seeing this? Seeing all the the clogged up arteries. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put some barbecue sauce. Sweet baby rays. It's the gourmet sauce. The award-winning barbecue sauce. Oh wow, that steak's white. That that's not normal. That's that's not normal. <laughs> So just gonna put a nice heap and help and oh I smell that coffee mate. Ooh yeah. I'm just gonna put a nice heap and help in a barbecue sauce. Got balanced out with you. Let's just put a nice heap of that in there. And I just realized I think this is juice. So I think we need to put a little bit of actual vino. You can see here. Balance out the barbecue sauce. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. That is really nice. This is experimental cooking. Let's bring me in. And, uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of whipped cream. Well, maybe not. That doesn't sound like a responsible thing to do. I'm just gonna turn down the heat to low. I'm gonna rid up the brinkman. I'm gonna flip the brinkman over. Right. I'm, I'm gonna flip it over. Oh. I don't want to burn myself. Well, the juices. This is experimental cooking. I wonder how this is gonna taste. How the family is gonna think about it. They're gonna think it's all good. You guys ever heard of cooking wine? That's what that wine is. Low alcohol. It's meant for cooking. Oh, that looks nice. We got a nice caramelization there from the wine and the barbecue sauce. Do we have a spatula? I, I rock a spatula. Where's the spatula? Where, where are the spatulas? Oh, there they are. My executive producer was helping me here. I'm gonna turn the heat back up to medium. Just nice and mixing in the barbecue sauce. And we're gonna have this for breakfast. With our eggs, of course. Like real men do. Just mixing in all the barbecue sauce, coffee mate. Oh, I love the flavors. Mmm, how yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah, the barbecue sauce getting nice and mixed up. And the coffee mate and other flavors. I'd be surprised if this tastes good, but it's experimental cooking, of course. Mm. We're just cooking back on the brink, man. I'm just mixing in all the flavors. It smells like barbecue sauce. Do you smell that? Oh, of course you don't. You're watching this through your phone or whatever. This feels like it might be a little bit overdone. The smell just hit me. 
Strong limoncello smeal. We're also an Italian family, so we like drinking sometimes. Oh, that smell really, just, you can't lean over this. It's like the fumes are intoxicating, or, or they're toxic from the nuclear codes, of course. I think this might be done. I mean, probably over burnt, the bur uh, not the burgers, the uh, sirloin steak, wherever this is. I just figured I'd finish cooking, whatever this is, ruin it. For the family, of course. Because this is experimental cooking. Just mixing up all the juices. It, they, they don't seem to melt, which probably is because of the barbecue sauce. So, to balance that out, we're gonna put some more soy sauce in there. As a nice marmalade. I don't know what that means, but... It's probably turn down the heat when I'm adding stuff. Especially something like saw sauce, sauce that I'm jumping so much of is gonna taste disgusting, but it's gonna also taste delicious because I made it. This is the stuff that you don't eat. Barbecue sauce is mixing up now with the soy sauce, as you can see. Hopefully, I don't make a big mess. Well, my executive producer is telling me it's time to go. Probably because Mark's coming back and he's gonna kill me. Anyway. I'll see ya. Just got done with my bathroom break. Walking my John Wayne. What did my film crew do? Oh my God. What the heck did they do? They, they cooked up a steak and they put limoncello and wine and everything in there. It looks pretty good. Maybe I should try a little bit. Okay, let's let's make up a little little plate of this wonderful stuff. All right, let's sit over here by the TV, and I will evaluate this experimental steak. Hmm, smells like alcohol. Well, anyway, we are nearing the end of the filming of the Brinkmans. Brinkman outside, the Brinkman inside, the Brinkman in the heart, you know, the manly Brinkman, the strength, the nuclear codes, and finally, the, the stake, the, the symbol of a real man. All right, here we go. Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and, and may your family be well and happy and have some steak on a Brinkman. Wow! <laughs> this is incredibly, this is incredibly good. Mmm! Must have been the coffin mate that they put in here. Kind of made it nice and sweet. Mmm. I can't eat this too quick. Oh my God. <clears throat> it's softening my strong heart. It's so good. Okay. Make sure they don't take away the cows. This is really good. Merry Christmas to everybody. May everyone have a steak in their house to eat as good as this one. Cooked by a Brinkman. Bye.